Hey guys, welcome back to my classroom. Yay! Hey guys, okay, so today we are gonna do some folding techniques, some paper folding techniques, um, in preparation to make a paper sculpture. So we have to practice doing some folding techniques, right? So we are going to do seven techniques and we're gonna put them all on a black construction paper, okay? So we're gonna make some rolls, we're gonna make some loops, we're gonna make some fringe, we're gonna make an arch, we're gonna make some folded zigzag paper, we're gonna make some curls, and we're gonna make some tabs. So you're gonna need um, what, six colors of uh, construction paper and one black one. So you're gonna do primary colors, yellow, blue, and red, and you're gonna do secondary colors, purple, orange, green. Okay, and then you're gonna need a black construction paper for the background. You're also going to need some glue, tacky glue or regular glue is fine. Scissors, a pencil, and either a white crayon or a white oil pastel. I used a white oil pastel today, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is Start cutting out some strips because we're going to need strips to create our techniques. And this is how you do it. I have all my strips of paper and I have some oil pastel, a white one and a pair of scissors. You can also use a white crayon for this. Okay, so these are gonna be different types of techniques for paper sculptures, right? So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to do the first one and it's going to be a roll, okay? So the first one is a roll. And you could do little rolls or you could do a big roll. So a roll is pretty much making like a circle. Since I have a big paper, I could probably cut two. I could make two rolls. Oh, and you're gonna need some tangy glue. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on one end. And I am just gonna fold, fold it over and just hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Should be good enough. Okay, we can make a little roll. Again, put a tiny bit of glue, roll it over. We have a little roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's a little glue, but that's okay because we can actually use that to stick it to our paper. So I'm gonna stick it up here. This will be my roll section. Stick one there. And I can even stick this one sideways like this if you want. Just carefully add a little glue on the edges. Okay. There you go. And then with your oil pastel, you're going to write the word roll. And then R O L L. Okay? So that's a roll technique that you could use for your paper sculpture. All right. You can also do something called loops. Loops. So loops is basically just this. Just a loop like that. So since I have such a big piece, again, I could cut it small and get a big loop and a little loop. So a loop. Just this, guys. So, in order to stick it together, just put a little glue on one end. Just stick your loop together. Like this. All right, awesome. Oh, you have to hold it, bonding time. See, I didn't hold it for like more than 10 seconds. All right, let's try. Try 15 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, 20 seconds. That works. And then I'll make a little loop.
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now we can stick our loops and you can maybe stick one on the side or one maybe like like this and one like this that might be cute okay oops. again we're gonna put some glue on the edges ah. see if it'll stick such a little bit of glue i know this is gonna be hard And then I'll just stick this loop down here. Like this. And then we'll write the word loop. So, uh, how do you spell loop? L O O P. Loop. All right, let's do a, let's do a fringe. Why don't we try a fringe? Do you guys know what a fringe is? <laughs> right, so a fringe is when you actually take a piece of paper or a strip of paper and you just cut little cuts in it, but not all the way to the end. Just like this, this is called fringe. Fringing the paper. And then you have these cool little tabs. This is called fringe. So when you're doing your paper sculpture, you can also use some fringe in there. Okay. Of course, fringe actually works better with like a longer piece of paper like this. Let's do this side. So you get long fringe. It's really cute too. So if you have that yellow construction paper, you can actually take some, like a nice rectangle and you could, you could uh, take a rectangle out, a larger one than this, and then you can use it for your, for this project. So I'm just gonna roll it, okay? I'm gonna roll it. So I'll just put a bit of glue and I'm gonna roll my fringe. And look at that one. I'm gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So in order to stick it here, I think I'm gonna create something called tabs. So to create a tab, it's almost like fringe. You just go, you just cut larger like wider cuts okay and then you fold them out like this and then you put glue on the tabs ah. and then you're gonna stick it next to the loop carefully. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if I can do it. Let's stick the tabs. There we go. Maybe a little higher up. Okay. I'm gonna use up all my paper here. I'm gonna use all my negative space. So this needs a little more glue here. I just have glue. One, yeah it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we can we can still use this little fringe that we made because it's also fringe. If you want to get get it a little messy, you can. And then we'll stick it right here to cover the tabs a little bit. One, two, three. And we'll stick the fringe right there. <clears throat> And we got a whole bunch of fringe. All right, so now we have to write fringe. You wanna write it with a pencil first, 
just in case and then go over it with your oil pastel you can just in case you like mess up <clears throat> at least you can erase f r i <clears throat> n g e french and then you can go over it with your oil pastel f r i n g e french so that's starting to look super cute okay and the next one we'll do we'll do it one with tabs okay because tabs are actually pretty cool so again you're just gonna do some wide cuts I may have made this too big. I'm gonna let's make a short, short one. Okay, so you're gonna fold one to this one tab to this side, and then one tab to this side, one tab this side, one tab that side, one tab this side, one tab that side. So now you have these things called tabs, and you can put glue on them. like that all right and now we can put our tabs down we'll put it under roll ah just gotta hold it down oh that made an interesting shape okay let's give it a little time to bond super cool And if you want, you can even make one that's a small, a small tab strip. Do little tabs. This is one that's smaller. Remember, you fold one to this side, then one to the other side, then one to this side. Then another tab to the other side, and then the other, and then the other. And now you have these beautiful tabs. If you want to make paper stick up, you create tabs. I created tabs on some toilet paper rolls, much like our fringe, to make the toilet paper stand up, the toilet paper roll. You can make like a happy face, like a curved line. Ah! So just hold it down for a, a, like 20 seconds because remember it needs that bonding time. Okay, and then we will write tabs. We have tabs here. Alright, so again if you want to go with your pencil and just write T, A, B, S, those are tabs. T, a B S tabs. Okay. All right. Awesome. That looks really pretty. All right. The next one we can do a spiral or curls. We can do a spiral or curls. Now this one, a spiral you can do with a pencil and you just kind of wrap a strip around your pencil. And this one may be a little long, so I'll just cut it. And it should make a nice little curl. Cute, right? And you could put the curl here. Now, if your curl is too wide and maybe you could just cut your paper in half and make small curls or maybe have one big one and one small one it's totally up to you so i'll take my pencil and i'll roll my strip of orange paper and make a nice curl or spiral look how cute okay so maybe i'll have a big one and a small one 
feel like this one could curl a little more. Let's curl it a little more. Okay, ooh, that's better. All right, so these are curls. So let's glue them here in the middle. Take a little glue, put it on the end here. I will glue them here. Maybe one right on this side, close to, I wanna do two more if I can. Let's see if I have room. So I'll do one there and I'll do a curl here. And then underneath, you're gonna write curls. C U R L S. C U R L S. Curls. I hope I want to have room for two more. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a zigzag. Zigzag. How do you do zigzag? You're gonna fold, so you're gonna take a strip of paper and you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold like little tabs back like this, and then you're gonna fold it back this way, and then you're gonna fold it forward, and then you're gonna fold it back, sort of like an accordion forward, back, forward, back, and just keep going. And you make a zigzag, or it's also called folded. Oh, I ripped it. That's too big, let me just cut it with scissors. Okay, that's better. Okay, now I have a nice, folded piece so this if you want you could glue it this way like one here and then one over here to make like an arch that would be pretty fun or you could glue it sideways like this it's up to you it might be a little too big you can also even do it this way maybe I could do it this way or this way I'll just, you know what? I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so I've got myself a nice zigzag line or folded, and I'm just gonna glue it down. It's fine. Just glue it this way. I'll glue them on top of each other. <laughs> Cute. And this is called folded. Oh, there's one last one I want to do. F O L D E D folded. I'll go over with my oil pastel. F O L D E folded okay there's one more that I want to do we are gonna do an arch so an arch as you know oh there's a little an arch right would look like this but how am I gonna stick it I need to create little feet on the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this over this little tippy tip and give it a foot. Just fold it over, just a fold like this. And now it's got a little foot. Now you're gonna do the same to the other side. Just fold it. And you can fold them out or you can fold them in. It's totally up to you. So now my strip has feet. Look at my little feeties. Like now I can walk. And now I can glue my feet to my project. So I can actually glue my feet here. Um, all right, so let's put some glue on the bottom of my feet. One, 
to and then I will glue my arch here one I don't know if you guys can see so I'm gluing it yes you can okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten actually ten was good enough cool okay guys so where can we put arch the word arch I guess we can even put it over on this side here we can actually put arch here so how do you spell it a r c h and then I'm gonna write it with my oil pastel a r c h arch all right now I have a really cool idea of different techniques for my paper sculpture. How cool! So we have roll, loop, fringe, and if you want you can even open these up a little bit to make it more dramatic. This almost looks like a flower or maybe even the center of a flower, right? Cool. So we have fringe, we have arch, folded, curls, and tabs. All right, good job. Can't wait to see yours. Hey guys, so we're all finished. Yay! I know you guys did an awesome job, and I can't wait to see your work. So hope to see you back in my classroom soon. Bye, everyone.